How to choose hardware. You can call them cabinet pulls, cabinet accessories, handles, knobs, whatever you might refer to them as. But let's talk about how you find the best hardware for your project. There's a lot of options in hardware nowadays. The good old fashioned just handle and just knob is slowly going away. Not to mention the options for cabinets that eventually are touched to open and we can talk about that later. Let's talk about the basics, okay? When you have a handle like I've got in this kitchen here, you know, you can grab a handle in, in all kinds of ways and it's not as much of a concern for somebody with arthritis or other issues, whereas a knob can be that, that, that situation. The other thing I don't like about knobs, by the way, is oftentimes when you have a knob on a cabinet, they start to twist. When they twist, they either leave marks um, or they, they may not be straight. With a handle, it's not gonna twist on you. When it comes to handles though, let's talk about a couple options. You notice with a handle like this, there's no protruding end on the handle. These are pocket catchers. You know, these corners can catch on to things on your sleeves, on your, on your pants pockets, um, watch bands, things like that, okay? Just be, be aware that if you're gonna buy something like that, then that might be an issue that you have to deal with. Some people call these barrel poles or wire poles. Cup poles, not a bad option, kind of a retro look going back to you know mid-century, 18, 1900s in that era. I will tell you though on these ones, it's a little more obvious sometimes if your handle's not exactly parallel to the bottom of the cabinet, as with other handles, they don't stand out quite as much. And then finally, one, one other option that's kind of getting popular, these L-shaped poles are screwed onto the back of the, the drawer face. One of the advantages there is if you happen to misdrill it, you don't have to replace your drawer front. That happens, by the way, with handles and knobs. If we drill that and it's drilled wrong, oftentimes you're replacing the whole drawer front or whole door. But with this type, it kind of gives you that grace to avoid that. The other thing that's kind of nice about these is they don't stick out very much. They're pretty subtle. So for somebody who doesn't want something that sticks out, it's too obvious, but they attach again to the back of the drawer front or in a case of a door, like we had a door like this, it's gonna stick on the back of the door. And when you're choosing your hardware, see if one of those tips and ideas might help you to pick the right hardware for your project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch the videos, comment, but most importantly, we'll see you next time.